Hello friends, Jermaine here and welcome to this video. In this last video of the series, we are going to be introducing state management into our restaurant search application. I made a poll a couple of weeks ago on your favorite state management approach and provider was one of the top results. And what provider essentially is, is it's a wrapper around an internal Flutter widget called Inherited Widget, which allows us to pass in an object from one part of our code and make it available anywhere in our widget tree. If this is your first time to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss out on future tutorials demonstrating how you can build full stack applications with Dart and Flutter. And on that note, let's get into it. I've gone ahead and added the provider dependency in my passpec.yaml file under the dependencies key and I run Flutter get to update my dependencies and then I'll import it and what we need to do is in our run app function I'll cut this out we need to create an instance of provider and then this provider takes in a child and this child will be our restaurant app widget and then next we need to define the data or the object that we are going to be made available to our root app as well as the widgets that we are rendering in this app. We need to define the create parameter. So that is a function and in this function we get a context. We're not going to do much with it. What we want to be available to our widgets for this basic example, we'll just have a piece of text that says state info. So now that we've created our instance of provider and defined the data we want to be available, I'll come to our search filter screen and then we need to import provider. We'll create a state variable and we'll do provider.of. We'll pass in the current build context and then we need to specify the type we expect, which in this case is string. That's what we are making available. So this now means we're able to access our state string, for instance, in our search, let's just pass in the state here. And because we've made a change to our widget structure, I'll go ahead and do a hot restart. And then let's go to our search filter screen. And there we go, we see the text over here. So steps are pretty straightforward um, using provider. You can also use the consumer widget to access it. I'll comment this out and then we declare a consumer widget and that takes in a builder named argument and it's a function providing some arguments including our state and then over here we just render our widget including the state so you can do this approach or you can do that approach and then use the value here so what we want to do here is to make our search options object that we created in the last video available to both the search filter screen as well as the main screen because currently the way we are passing that across is by lifting up state in our search screen over here or such so we want to get rid of this approach and then use the provider to do it so let's create a new file we'll call this file app state we'll create a class called app state and let's import search options which is in the search filter screen file and then let's come back to our main.dart file we'll import our app state and then in this provider we will return an instance of app state so if i save that i'm able to come to our search filter screen and then we'll import app state which means over here we'll do provider of app state i'll get rid of that so now we are able to access our search options object and then to reference our option value we'll come down here to location we'll do state dot search options dot location so if i go ahead and save this and then we we get that that's because i need to hot restart again so let's do that again okay now it looks like that all right so our location is empty because we've not defined it so Let's come to our app state. We'll set location to, for now, we'll just set it to city. And then I'll do a hot restart. And let's check this again. Okay, so now we got city. So now our app state is available here, which means that in our search page, if I come over here, I can retrieve the state and let's import app state and provider. We can, for instance, rather than doing widget.title, let's just log out the location here like so when i come back here we have the location so let's go ahead and implement this properly now i'll go ahead and move 
these options to another file. I'll create that file, we'll call it api.dart and then we'll copy all of these across. I'll make these constants and I'll rename these. Alright, so in app state, I'll go ahead and import api and then let's populate our search options like so. And in here, because our search options is now being passed in from the app state, we can go ahead and get rid of this. And let's go ahead and fix all of these. State.search options. And let's replace it here as well. And change it here as well. Over here. Here as well. And then lastly for our slider. So we've still got some errors we need to resolve since we've moved the Zomato options. Let's go ahead and create another class that will pass in via provider. So in here API, I'll create a class called Zomato API. And in our API, we'll make these available. So I'll come back to main.dart and in here, we'll import our API. And then we need to pass in two ways of doing it. The first way is we can wrap this in another provider, which looks like that. We are nesting a provider within a provider. So imagine you had 10 different objects you wish to provide, then obviously there's a lot of nesting that's happening. Fortunately, we can use what's known as a multi-provider. And this multi-provider takes in a list of providers. And so that means we can pass in our provider in here like so. And then our child will look like that way simpler and much more readable so now that we've passed our zomato api object we can go to our search filter screen we can pull this in and i'll go ahead and make sure that we've imported our api we can do api.locations and let's change all of these to use the api So if I save this and I go ahead and hot restart and come to our filter screen, then everything should look fine. And to get this working properly, let's remove this onset filter because that was the approach we took when we were lifting up state. I'll come to our search screen over here. I'll get rid of that bit. I'll go to our search filters screen. I'll remove all of this. Then save both of them. We got an error, no problem. We'll hot restart in a second. And what we need to do is to pass in our search options from our app state. And let's go to our search restaurants function. And in this function, we'll have our search options here. So that means I can copy this and then we'll have that here as such. We can get rid of filters and then let's hot restart the app. Okay, I'll uh, come to our filters. Let's select some of these options. I'll uh, sort by rating and let's show five results. And I enter in a search term. And before I go ahead and search, let's pull up the dev tools. All right, so I've got the dev tools open. I've started the recording. So if I hit search, it goes ahead and it makes a call. So let's select this one. So it goes to the Zomato API. And then here's our query. These are exactly the options we set that are being passed in the query string. So we can confirm that it's working. All right, so I'll close this. The other benefit with provider is we are able to refactor this a whole lot more to make our solution much cleaner. So let's start by going back to our API. And then in here, I'll create another variable to contain our instance of DO. And then I'll import the DO library. Also, I'll go ahead and create a constructor. And then we'll initialize our DO object that is in our client over here. I'll copy this and I'll paste that here. And we'll initialize DO like so. We can import flutter.env, but I think a better solution is we'll have a parameter for our constructor called key and then we'll 
have that key here like so. What this means is that in our main.dart file, we can initialize our API here and then we'll pass in the Zomato API key from our .env file. And then over here, we'll pass in our API like so. So if I go ahead and hot restart, everything should still work okay, unless we broke something. So because we're now using this approach, let's go ahead and get rid of this client. And let's fix the errors we're getting. We'll get rid of deal in our restaurant search app, like so. And in our search filter screen, we'll get rid of this bit, get rid of DL. And we need to address this bit. I'll copy this into our API. I'll initialize our categories here. And let's go ahead and import our search filter screen, which has got this category class. In fact, let's create a new file called category.dart. And then in our search filter screen, we'll go ahead and place this in there, like so. We'll get rid of this deal object we're passing in and in our search filter screen we can import our category.dart like so and back to our api we'll have category in here let's copy this across so this class would handle fetching and populating the categories as well as an initial setup step so we'll call this load categories and then in here we'll use our deal instance rather than just returning we'll do categories dot add all and i'll get rid of the to list method and add an extra bracket which means that our future will not return a list of categories it's pretty much void and we need to await on deal.get what this means for us is we can come back to our main once we've created our api object we can invoke the load categories function which means that when we go on the search filter screen, we don't need to load the categories again because it would have been loaded once. Now we can get rid of all of these, like so. And then in our build method, when we look at categories, we can do api.categories and do the same for here as well. So that looks good. Then let's save that. Last file we need to fix is our search screen. Let's get rid of deal. And then I'll do a hot restart. Let's test everything still works. We are getting this error. Okay, so the culprit is with this bit. What I'm gonna do is copy this function into our API. And then in here we'll do underscore deal. Let's import search options. And that should fix that. We'll come back to our search screen. And then let's import our API down here to our future builder. And we'll do api.searchrestaurants. If I save this and it runs, it goes ahead and it works successfully. So now we can get rid of this bit now, like so. And then we can remove this deal declaration can get rid of this deal import. In fact, I'll get rid of this bit. Let's test this again. So I'll select a couple more options, a couple more categories. Select zone, let's make it ascending, sort by cost, and we want 10 results to display. Then let's pull out the dev tools. And we'll search. Okay, so our search is made. Let's do a bit more cleanup. In our search filter screen, we will we'll move search options. So I'll create a new file. I'll call it search options dot and let's paste that in here. And in fact, I noticed I made a mistake. So instead of location, we want entity type because I looked at the API for search and then it's called entity type. So now that that is correct, Let's go ahead and import it in here. And we'll import that in here as well. Let's do a hot restart. And I'll open up the dev tools. And then we'll type in the search. And in here, we are passing in entity type rather than location. So this looks correct now. So the last refactoring that we're gonna do here is our search page over here. Rather than feeding the search filter widget to our search page logic, 
we can use what are known as named routes. So to demonstrate that, I'll come to our root widget. We will define routes and this will be a map consisting of the name of the route and the value will be a function that returns a widget and we'll define another route called filters which will return our search filter screen so let's import it and then we'll declare it as such we need to define the initial route which we called home so i can go ahead and get rid of that and let's do a hot restart okay so that looks good so we'll come back to our search screen We'll do navigator dot push named and then in here we'll specify the name of the route which we called filters. So therefore it's much cleaner and our search page doesn't need to know about search filters. I'll do that. I can remove this import now. So in fact we can get rid of this condition entirely and just display the wrap because we know that our categories is available at that point and therefore we don't need to display we'll never need to display this circular progress indicator so I'll save this and um, if I come here still works nicely I'll get rid of that so the solution that we've got is one that is much cleaner using the provider state management. I've got this source code on GitHub as well, so feel free to go and take a look and read it to understand it a bit better. All right, and this is gonna be the last video in the series. I've got some other content to cover. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button and share this video. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss out on the next update. If you've got any questions about this video, let me know down below and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.